Hi, it's really a challenge to find the best products that can be deserving of your hard-earned money. It may be easier when you have a reliable source like our channel. Actually, our team reviewed a lot of products, analyzed endless reviews from the actual users, and made our rankings based on many factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and the reputation of the manufacturer. If you choose from this list, you can be sure that you're buying one of the best products. You can see their latest prices and find out more information about these products by using the links below in the description. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Are you looking for the best pocket knives in your budget? Well, in today's video we break down the top 5 best pocket knives that are available on the market. Starting at number 5, we have the SOG Twitch 2 Pocket Knife. The Twitch 2 has earned many fans over the years. It's sized just right, easy to open, and has delivered consistently strong results throughout testing. The stainless steel blade, housed in a simple and sleek looking aluminum handle, is substantial enough for a variety of tasks, yet the knife retains a modest, slim profile. It is comfortable to carry in your pocket and attaches securely to a belt. There are a few ways to deploy the blade including a thumb stud on each side. Many prefer the kick, sometimes called a flipper, this triangular tab sits at the end of a knife's tang and protrudes from the handle when the blade is closed. Pressing it down with your index finger swings the blade out nearly all the way, and it locks into place with a small tug upward. Once open, the kick doubles as a finger guard. Under relatively little pressure, the knife made even, smooth cuts. The blade slid into an apple on contact, though it needed greater force to completely slice through. It also finished among top performers for the cord and zip tie testing, cleanly cleaving the fasteners with a modest amount of force. A small sliding lock on the handle adds extra assurance that the blade won't deploy accidentally. After more than a year of frequent use, this knife is still in fine form, though some paint has chipped off the handle. If you're looking for a trusty EDC that delivers quality at a reasonable cost, the Twitch doesn't disappoint. Moving on at number 4, we have the Wii Knife Big Banter. Part of a trio, the Wii Knife Big Banter is the big brother of the Banter and Baby Banter. All three of these knives have found their place in the annals of knife history in a very short period of time. This is due in part to all three of them being made from exceptional materials, excelling in performance, and being priced just right for the everyday user. We chose the Big Banter as this year's best hiking, outdoor pocket knife because it's a full-sized knife consisting of a drop point two zero CV blade and micarta handle scales. It also features a steel frame for extra dexterity as well as ball bearings in the pivot for an incredibly awesome deployment experience. Additionally, and this is something we've seen on a lot of Wii Knife knives, the attention to detail on the Big Banter kicks the functionality up a notch. Take for example the jimping in the choil. Having this extra touch point in this specific area provides you with a better grip. It also helps out when you're working on tougher tasks. Another detail is the fact that one handle scale has a slightly larger relief to better access the liner lock. It would be one thing if this were a large relief, but we're talking about less than an eighth of an inch that improves the user experience and ease of use. At number 3, we have the Kershaw Leak Pocket Knife. The Kershaw Leak packs a pedigreed blade into a compact, assisted opening knife that costs roughly half the price of other high-end options. The 14C28N alloy stainless blade steel comes sharp and defect-free from the factory. Like the assisted opening on other models, the Leak can be opened with either thumb via the blade studs or via a well-tuned flipper tab along the spine. It is quick to open, impressively well-built, and super portable, positioning the Leak as a strong competitor to become your everyday companion. The leak is undeniably sleek and beautiful, but while some of our testers appreciated the thin profile for carrying, others really disliked the handle design due to compromises in overall utility. The knife is excellent for light cutting, but we wouldn't trust it for anything heavier duty. It's not meant for heavy tearing or prying, we even watched the blade deform slightly during testing. At number 2. We have the Benchmade 535 Bugout Pocket Knife. The Benchmade 535 Bugout is the best knife we know of for self-propelled outdoor adventures. 
Longtime top manufacturer Benchmade made this knife precisely for carrying in the backcountry. But its lightweight and low profile make it the perfect everyday carry. This smaller knife still sports a top quality, full-size blade that opens, locks, and closes with a predictable smoothness we have come to expect from the reliable hardware in Benchmade knives. The lightweight design, however, comes with a few minor concessions. The handle is a tad flexible, it's entirely plastic without an internal skeleton liner. It's more stable than the weight leads you to believe, but this isn't the tool for intense cutting tasks. However, it's important to recognize that you likely won't encounter the need for extended cutting in your day-to-day -day life or regular outdoor adventures. Minor criticisms aside, if you want a full-length pocket knife as well designed for your backcountry kit as it is your pocket, we recommend the bug out over any other knife in our lineup. The Victorinox Classic SD Swiss Army is another option worth keeping on your person. Though the knife isn't too impressive, you'll be equipped with a mini multi-tool in your pocket. And finally at number 1, we have the Civivi Button Lock Elementum 2 Pocket Knife. The Civivi Button Lock Elementum 2 is the first knife from the Chinese maker that we have been legitimately impressed with. Their discontinued original Elementum had some major design flaws and scored quite low in our testing. The difference could not be more stark with the Elementum 2. From the outside, the knife doesn't look much different. It has a similar shape, with a flipper open action. The G10 composite scales come in the same wide variety of colors that Civivi is known for. Though this is mainly for aesthetic purposes, Civivi understands that a knife is a work of art that enthusiasts collect as much as actually use. We find the texture to be pleasant while giving just the right amount of grip. The main upgrades are in the lock and the blade steel. The Elementum now features an excellent button lock, which is not only easy to disengage but also makes the knife inherently safer than the liner lock of its predecessor. It does require the knife to grow a little thicker to accommodate this mechanism, but overall, it's an acceptable trade-off. The real impressive feature of this knife, though, is its blade steel alloy. Nitro V is among the top knife steels produced today, and to find it in a knife at this price point is the real reason we had no choice but to give the Elementum 2 our top value award. You'll have to choose if the aesthetics of this knife suit your own sensibilities, but the actual knife metrics of this pocket knife can't be ignored. It is a beautifully functional knife offering quality steel, for a steel. If you're on the hunt for the most inexpensive knife, the Gerber Paraframe Mini is hard to beat. This knife is extremely portable and would make a great backup knife. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If this video was helpful to you, please make a sure like, comment, subscribe.